Welcome to the Elgin County Railway Museum in St. Thomas, Ontario, the railway capital of Canada. In this video, we're going to be talking about train cabooses. The caboose, always stationed at the end of the train, was used for shelter and living quarters for the engineers and conductors. Our caboose was equipped with beds, a desk, an icebox, a sink, and a stove. It was also equipped with handbrakes, which would be cranked to slow down the individual cars. Brakemen would run atop moving trains to slow the cars, with each brakeman being responsible for up to four cars. This job has been made much safer with the invention of the air brake system. This caboose was built in 1891 and retired in 1964. It is from the Grand Trunk Western Railroad Company, which formed in 1852 in Montreal. For a while, Grand Trunk was the biggest and most successful company in Canada. The tracks and cars owned by Grand Trunk were the precursors to what would eventually become the Canadian National. Cabooses are known for their cupolas, which are the little bunks that poke out over top of the rest of the car. It's a common misconception that these bunks were used for sleeping, but they were actually used to look out over the train and see if there were any signals, and make sure the carts didn't become detached from one another. Nowadays, this job is done by flashing rear-end devices, or FREDs, which has made the caboose obsolete. 